Hey guys, this is Sunsfan with an introduction to Wisp. Wisp is a strength hero who, funnily enough, has more intelligence than strength. He, she, or it is more of a utility hero that thrives with competent allies as it can increase their survivability as well as mobility throughout the battlefield. Tether is a single target skill intended for use on ally heroes. When used, both Wisp and the ally will gain 20% movement speed throughout the 12 second duration. This will also create a link between the two heroes, which, if an enemy comes between, will effectively stun them for 2.25 seconds. The tether can break if it stretches beyond 900 units, or if Wisp manually deactivates it. This skill also interacts with some of Wisp's other abilities. Spirits is an active skill, which will create 5 ancient spirits over a 4 second period which are intended to protect Wisp. If an enemy hero comes in contact with one of these spirits, the spirits will explode and the enemy unit along with anyone in a 300 AoE will take 100 damage. If a non-hero unit comes in contact with one, the spirits will not explode and will only do a reduced 26 damage. This ability comes with two sub-abilities aptly named Spirits In and Spirits Out. These will allow you to control how big or small the radius around you these spirits will cover. The minimum range around you is 100, while the maximum is 875. Overcharge is a toggleable ability which will buff you for plus 70 increased attack speed and will reduce incoming damage by 20%. While toggled, this will drain 2.5% of your current HP and mana per second. If you have an ally tethered to you, they will gain the aforementioned buffs as well which of course is the plus 70 increased attack speed, as well as the 20% damage reduction. Relocate is Wisp's ultimate, and it allows him to help and assist teammates from across the map. When used and after a 2 second cast time, you will be able to teleport yourself temporarily to any location on the map. After 12 seconds, you will teleport back to your original location. Now the fun really starts when you tether an ally. As long as an ally is tethered to you, you can take them anywhere you go. If the tether is disabled, or if you deactivate it manually, then they will not follow you. One thing to note about this skill is that when you teleport somewhere temporarily, enemy units will be able to see the location of where you will return. They will also be able to see if you have someone tethered to you or not. On paper, this skill has endless uses and can be considered one of the most helpful skills in the game. Thanks for watching, and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube. Also, check out our website at dotacinema.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash dotacinema. My name is Sunsfan, and we love you all.